Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. With our little pup river, we travel full time in our beloved sprinter van, Sophia. For the past year, we've been prepping for the trip of a lifetime, hoping to take our home on wheels across the continent of Africa and all the way to Cape Town. Given the state of travel at the minute, we have some updates to share with you and reveal our plans for the year ahead. Subscribe, follow along with our journey and join us for the ride. Hi guys and welcome back. As you can tell from the title, we are going to tell you something very dramatic. <laughs> so we're going to update you on our plan to travel to Africa, what's happening with that. Um, yeah, so... And our travel plans for the next year. Yeah. Just basically fill you in on what's been going on. As we've been building and doing the shakedown tour, this has all been going on in the background and now is the perfect time to let you all in. Yes. On what is happening. Considering we're about to leave the UK in seven days. Yeah. In less than seven days, in five days. So, okay, let's get into it. We'll get straight to it. So anyone that doesn't want to carry on watching doesn't have to. <laughs> Africa is postponed for at least 12 months. So the reason we've decided to postpone it, well in fact, we haven't decided that it, you know, been decided it's for been us. decided for us. So our main reason is that our route is currently blocked. Uh, the border between Sudan and Ethiopia is still closed. There's no land crossings allowed. Uh, that's all to do with a civil war and land disputes. So we can't even get down through uh, Africa at all at the moment. Um, and also we need to be mindful of COVID that's obviously going on there as well. With Ethiopia being blocked, we have no route south. We can't go around Ethiopia. The South Sudan borders it, which we just can't go anywhere near. We did look at shipping from Port Sudan to Mombasa in Kenya, but for some reason it is like one of the most expensive shipping routes in the world. I think it was cheaper for us to ship from the UK straight to South Africa than it was to just hop around Ethiopia. Not only that, we'd have to then fly ourselves and River out of Sudan to Kenya. There's no direct flights. We'd have to go with Qatar Airways via Doha and it was just turning out into be a logistical nightmare. Yeah. Really expensive and just not worth it. It would be just forcing it for the sake of doing it. Yeah, you and, and putting River through, what, four or five different flights, it just wasn't, it just wasn't an option. No, so. and even if we didn't have River, I still think it would have been just too much yeah, and too yeah. much expense. So the East Coast route is currently blocked for us. We did look at doing the west coast, going from Morocco down to Mauritania, into Senegal and down that way. But not only is there issues with Spain and Morocco at the minute, and people are struggling to get into Morocco, the Morocco and Mauritania border is closed due to political reasons and doesn't look like it's opening anytime That's soon. That's been closed for God knows how long anyway. So, so the route west is blocked as well. So basically heading north to south through Africa at the minute is pretty much a no-no. I know some of you follow Graham Bell and his family. They have traveled all over the world. They have some amazing adventures and they were planning to do Cape Town to Vladivostok overland, which is obviously going the opposite way to us, all the way to Russia. They've had to postpone their trip as well. Just anybody who wants to do this kind of route, I just think it's not possible at the minute. So, so we've had to look at alternatives instead. Yes. So rather than do another fantastic massive route this year, we've decided that we are gonna head to Greece and then over into Turkey. And then with any luck, uh, Georgia and Azerbaijan. Yeah. Just have a little explore of Turkey and the Caucasus in an area that neither of us have been to before. Yeah. Because I still feel like the world is only just getting, it's not even back to normal yet. Exactly. And I feel like before we make any big plans to do, I don't know, a big round the world trip or something, it would be much better maybe to just wait another year and see where the world is at then. Because yeah, exactly. things are things still need changing to... all the time at the minute. Exactly. Everywhere needs to heal. We just need to, you know, be patient. Um, we can, yeah. as it stands, we can go to Greece, we can go to France, we can, you know. God, don't say that now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it is really exciting. It's not the fantastic Africa trip we were hoping for. Yeah. But it's still going to be an amazing trip. We're yeah. still going away and it's still going to be 
a 10 11 month trip yeah we're still really really excited we've got friends over there that we're going to go and see i actually know a few youtubers who are heading over there danny and Tulu, if you follow them courtney and meeks that i know are heading over there so i still think it's going to be we're going to see going going to be a fun to, trip we're also going to meet up with chris and marianne from tread the globe as well yeah. in turkey which I'm you're looking so forward excited. to because we speak to them a lot yeah they have helped us so much over the past year with all of our africa planning and just because if you don't know they're driving around the world in their camper van trudy they've been stuck in turkey due to covid um but yeah they, because year, they were yeah. planning a big overland trip as well they've just been giving us so much help and advice and we're really excited to meet up with them so yeah. it's still going to be an amazing trip still going to be an amazing adventure and we're just gonna yeah put everything on hold for a year and see what next year has in store for us exactly and if next year we still can't do it that's fair enough we've plans potentially for the Silk Road so from the UK or back through Turkey and Georgia and through the stands and hopefully all the way down to sort of maybe Malaysia or doing India excuse me or well, yeah, whilst doing India Pakistan you know fingers that. crossed something like that or we can, we've talked about shipping over to Canada and then go through Canada America Central America South America yeah so there's still plenty to do and see um, yeah, so just because one constant is blocked us doesn't mean we're hoping we next year to at least start one cross continent trip in yes. whichever direction it turns out to be. Exactly. So, so as it stands, we're leaving the UK in a week. We had a really successful shakedown cruise. Um, touch wood, nothing went wrong. No. We, everything was everything, perfect. Everything Solar setup was right. great. No water leaks, touch wood, no fridge broken, no, no covers thing, fell off. The only thing we needed to do was hang a mirror, that yeah. was hung, and that was we're it. good to go. We sort and organise a few more bits out while we're back home for the week and then we're heading off to France. Yep, we're going to France for two weeks Yep. Um, and then making our way to Italy, we're going from Italy to Greece and then we're going to spend roughly, what, eight weeks yeah. or so, probably a couple of months in Greece. Um, obviously because we've um, got the 90, got day the 90 180 day rule and then we're going to go into Turkey, spend time in Turkey and then obviously Georgia and then Azerbaijan. Yeah, and that I, is our rough plan. Yeah, and all go, you know, as it, hopefully it all goes to plan. We look to drive back then in June, take a month maybe to get back. Yeah, and then reassess we'll, the situation. Yeah, see what's open, what's not and then go from there. River's coming as well. Yeah. Her animal health certificate is sorted. Uh, she's had her boosters. We are good to go. We've got a supply of flea worming tablets. The only thing that's holding us back is that I need to go to the dentist to have my crown fitted. That's the only thing we are waiting for. As soon as that's done this week, we're off. Heading off. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck it, no, it doesn't matter. Today is a rainy day in the van. We get to feel all warm and cozy and snug in our little home on wheels. The rain on the roof. I do really love rainy days in the van, but I'm really also very much looking forward to some winter sunshine. About the past month to six weeks or so, we've had these three books sat here on the bookshelf, and I was waiting for somebody to notice them, and nobody has noticed them or said anything. They're the Turkey, Greece, and Georgia and Azerbaijan books. So we've had a little nugget there. For some yeah. of you to spot, but none yeah, of you spotted it. A hidden Easter egg, but none of you spotted it. Not and you can't thing. say you did now, because I won't believe you. As we said, we we're going to Greece, but to be more specific, we're only going to be doing northern Greece, because we just we do not have enough time to do the whole of mainland Greece and islands. So we've decided, because obviously we're going to Turkey as well, we're going to explore northern Greece, and then it's just easier to get into Turkey then. So if anyone has any recommendations on places to see, do, things to do, like more of the off the beaten track stuff for Northern Greece, please let us know, that'd be great. Are you looking forward to Turkey? How about Greece? Turkey? Greece. I think she's looking forward to Greece more. So I hope you don't mind, it was a little bit of a short video this week as we update you all on what our travel plans are for the next year. Um, super excited isn't it yeah super we're excited so excited we are obviously a little bit disappointed that the africa trip isn't going ahead as planned but we're still yes. going to make the most of it exactly. and that's life isn't it we're going to make the most of this next year so if you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing and coming along on this new turkish adventure with us because next week we will be heading off to europe yeah 
so we shall see you then guys bye, bye. hi guys and welcome back As no don't say that <laughs> i'll take it hi everyone oh, oh no i'm gonna scratch my nose sorry thank okay. you <laughs> Can you see it? Oh, yeah, I can now, yeah. I, um, and... I see it's hard, isn't um, it? Yeah, I lost my train of thought. Just stick inside, so work it out, stick it out, work it out, oh.